we want you to soften your attention to things unwanted so they are not such an active part of your vibration while you amplify more of the things wanted which means you become a better selective sifter like looking for positive aspects looking for things that are easy existing matches to what you want that is really a good thing to do all day everything to make the best of things if you can you know why you don't do that it seems like a simple premise we know it seems like the simplest thing in the world and we know you are a group who does it often but the thing that hinders you and keeps you from doing more of that is that you don't really understand what your point of attraction means and we want you to really get it Esther was pondering the other day when things are going really good you like to acknowledge ah oh, this is my point of attraction when things are not going so good you like to acknowledge yeah this is somebody else's fault that is <laughs> happening to me like this and so we like you to think like you have this bag of marbles that's with you everywhere you go Esther holds hers about right here <laughs> and every thought you've ever thought every vibration that has ever passed through your vibrating focus is in this bag great big bag tiny little marbles we know it's illogical to think about lugging a bag of marbles around maybe it'll make it easier for you if you think about you've got a bag of marbles and not all of them are active in fact only a few of them are active but the active thoughts the active marbles are the ones that are your point of attraction they are the ones that you're gonna hook up with others and their bag of marbles so everybody's got a bag of marbles you're all running around a room full of you with a room full of bags of marbles and what's active in your bags is the relationship that you have with one another so you have an awareness you are so psychic and you don't even know it and by that we mean you are operating on vibrational levels yeah you can talk and you can hear and you can see and smell and taste and in other words all of that we get your physical senses but you have another level of operating in this world and it's a vibrational level and it's what you're thinking about it's what you're feeling it's that underpinning of what you say sometimes you get really good at being really disciplined because you've learned that sometimes when you say something that others don't like it has a backlash to you and so you've trained yourself others have trained you your parents taught you what to say out loud and what not to say out loud I love you usually went well I hate you not so much <laughs> you know what we're talking about and so oftentimes you mistaken good manners for good creation because you don't say those things out loud but your microphone is always on it's always on you're always emitting a signal and so is everyone else you know how when you're talking to someone and you know what they're thinking I know this doesn't look good I should have worn something different I know I know I know same old same old Esther has 12 of these jackets she loves them they have pockets she can put stuff in her pockets she can put her hands in these pockets it's the most comfortable piece of clothing she owns she wants to wear it all the time all the time she kind of does she does not sleep in it but other than that she wears it almost all the time and she knows she sometimes she can sit behind the curtain and she can hear you thinking she's probably gonna wear that same same thing she goes on the stage. so we want you to consider the difference between you having an opinion about something because you're really entitled to your opinions about everything an opinion about something or an intention because often you have an opinion about something that you don't want in the world that you don't want in your life that you don't want in your experience at all and you have an opinion and you know your opinion is correct because you've tested it for a long time sometimes for decades you know your opinion is right but there's another question that we want you to ask yourself is the opinion right as it is is your opinion serving you and the way we would say that is is it your path of least resistance path of least resistance to what path of least resistance or path of most allowance those are the same words means the same thing path of most allowance to what allowance to the vortex version of you allowance to all that you know that you want allowance to who you really are 
So path of least resistance. So I have an opinion about something or do I have an intention about something? And as Esther has been playing that game with herself, she finds there's far less resistance in her intentions because she did them on purpose than on her opinions because she's kind of picked them up along the way and some of them are not serving her well at all. We are eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you. You are the reason that we are here and what you want to talk about is what we want to talk about. There's nothing off limits and there's no agenda, but you will notice a logical unfolding because that's how the law of attraction works things out. What you want and what we want is the same thing. We want you to find the clarity that you're looking for. And we know that you are in different places as individuals in relationship to being close vibrationally to what you want. And so sometimes, even though you really, really, really want something, your awareness of the distance between what you want and where you are will keep you from being able to hear us clearly when you sit in the hot seat. If you sit here with split energy, desperate for something that you don't believe you can have, our words won't be very meaningful to you. And often someone else can ask your question and you will have less resistance. You're going to notice lots of vibrational shifting while you're here today. So what do you want to talk about? Hardly anything. <laughs> lots going on here. Begin right here, right here. Yeah. If you can hear only this, if this is the only thing that you take away from this, all of you, this gathering, T, 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 thoughts turning to things, thoughts turning to things. My desire, my desire are thoughts turning to things. We know this for sure because we're with your inner being who is turning the thoughts to things. They're all primed up. Everything right before them becoming a thing is all ready. In other words, just like everything's ready for the baby to be born, but the baby has to be born. So thoughts are already been turned to things, but the thought cannot actually have that explosion into where you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it until your emotion allows it. So thoughts are turning to things. Thoughts are turning to things. Thoughts are turning to things. Not letting the thoughts that are turning to things in. The thoughts are turning. The thoughts are evolving. The thoughts are gathering more cooperative components. The thoughts are getting bigger. The desire is more, 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 more. Still not letting it in. Still not letting it in. Still not letting it in. Just now, you let it in just a little bit more. That's all that it is. It doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter what it is. You're right. Clarity is what you want because you know what clarity is. Clarity is a state of non-resistance. You can be really clear about hating something and you can be really clear about loving something. And in either case, they're moving forward. In either case, they're moving forward. It's just the things that are a vibrational match to your inner being. Oh, those are such big things. Those are things that you call miracles. So can I ask this question one more time as clearly as I can? Yeah, yeah. I think you already answered it. It'll be clearer than it ever has been before. It. Okay. We did, but we're never out of answers. What I want now is for this person that I love to be healthy again. Well, then you and should start with that conversation because we spent all that time yeah. on something that you don't give a rat's ass about anymore. Okay, fair, but... When I really but the reason we did that is because you want, the I reason want that we did I that we're still standing on, on your toe again the reason that we did that is because you needed to prove to us that this doesn't work fair enough and in proving to us that that doesn't work you don't have a snowball's chance in hell in helping the person you love because if it doesn't work it doesn't work but it does work it works it works you're turning thoughts to things. You just got to let it be. You got to delegate more to the universe. You got to take less responsibility in the sense that you have to prove something to somebody. You don't have to prove, nor can you prove anything to anybody. You get to attract because you are an attractor. You get to receive benefit because you are blessed. You get to get what you want, you see. And you just demonstrate that. That's why you tied these two things together. You feel like you're not demonstrating what we're teaching. And so it's where the first conversation happened today as we're talking to the mother about wanting to empower her children. That's what you all want. You want to empower others. But before you can empower others, because words don't teach, you just got to teach to the clarity of your example. Your energy has shifted enormously. And the thing that is 
interesting about this we almost said funny but you wouldn't be laughing the thing that is interesting about this is that when something else that as you say really matters a lot distracts you from the drum beating that you've been doing about the other often that's the thing that lets that in and then humans say oh man that came in but it came in too late no it didn't it came in just in the right time it came in when you stopped pushing against it it's not just that you can only do one or two or three or four five things at a time you can do many 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 things at a time every day life is showing you something else that you want every day life is showing you something else that you want often it's prosperity then you get some prosperity then you get responsibility then you don't want the responsibility you want somebody to take care of the responsibility then you attract people that can help you with the responsibility then you got bogged down because they all want different things and they feel needy and then you want to all go away you don't want all those properties and you don't want all those responsibilities in other words you're like a freaking moving target you're all the time wanting 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 and if we can convince you that if you understand that what you really want is to feel good in the midst of what life has caused you to want that's the argument that if we were standing in your physical shoes we would have with the universe this is the bone that we would try to pick we won't let you we'll help you understand that you can't pick this bone but this is the logical bone that most physical humans should be picking with the universe you showed me life and you made me want something that I can't figure out how to get you showed me life and you made me want something and now you're withholding it you're making me change to get it and we say we're asking you to be in love with it not be at war with it we're asking you to wonder about it and imagine it and feel it and embrace it and know it and sense it and understand it and find clarity from it we don't want you to be at war with it you gotta love it but humans say how can I love something that I have not Give it to me and then I'll love it. Give it to me and then I'll focus on it in a positive way. Nope. That's not how it works. That's not attraction. You focus it into being. You focus it into being by understanding the laws of the universe, by feeling your own power, by demonstrating your own power to yourself, by intending things and watch how things work out. We used to say to people, we haven't said it in a while, today would be a good day to say it. Start with things that have less importance to you it's easier for you to show yourself how the universe works when you want something that you haven't been practicing opposition about for a long time you see if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next